The water levels at the Great Salt Lake now five feet higher since hitting historic lows just last year. Yes, and today large boats pulled out of what was last year returning to the lake once again. ABC 4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner has that story. At the Great Salt Lake Marina, boats seem to fly. Everyone has heard about the insane drought that we've had. Uh, last year, it was unprecedented. The lake is relatively shallow by nature, and last summer, the drought made things much worse. And all of the boats were pulled from the marina. It's the first time in recent memory that any of us have, can recall this happening. Normally, the sailboats are docked here year-round, but their large keels, the part that looks like a fin at the bottom of the boat, and record low water levels made it impossible for them to stay. But today, things are looking up. The historic snowfall this winter was really, really a surprise and super helpful to bring the lake level up. And so it seems like we're getting a bonus round. Chase Birch is a sailor and today he's all smiles. This is just so cool to see. This is just one of 33 boats that is being craned and hoisted back into the marina today. Yeah, I mean, it's much better in the water than sitting on a trailer. So yeah, yeah, I'm excited uh, to be able to do it again. When boats were pulled from the water, the park had no idea how long it would be before they'd be allowed back in. But it's safe to say, no one thought it would be this soon. There's still quite a bit of work to be done on the boats. You know, we have to raise our masts and get the sails up and get things rigged. So uh, a couple days of work ahead, but um, yeah, we'll have plenty of time to sail. From Great Salt Lake State Park, Cade Garner, ABC4 News.